let me show you how you can use your iPhone as a webcam or microphone inside of macOS Ventura. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I am so delighted that you were all with me today because macOS Ventura is out, iOS 16 is out, and we can finally use our iPhones as an actual webcam for your Mac with these updates. And it is so cool. Even though Apple has updated its webcams in recent years, they're still not the best. The cameras on your iPhone are still significantly better. And now these can be your webcam for high quality video on your Mac. So I'm gonna walk you through how you can do it, all the different special effects that you can apply, and even how you can use it as a microphone if you're just recording audio, giving a great remote mic option away from your Mac. It's so cool, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Using your iPhone as a webcam is super simple. In macOS Ventura, all you need to do is open up any sort of video capture software that uses your webcam. This could be as simple as a QuickTime video, it could be inside of Zoom, it could be a Slack call, uh, it could be a FaceTime call, anything that's gonna be utilizing that webcam. Once you do, an alert is gonna pop up on your screen for the very first time, letting you know that you can choose your iPhone as a remote camera. Once you go ahead and choose it, it'll take a moment to connect, and then you will see your camera feed coming in from your iPhone. Whatever video app you're in, wherever you choose your camera going forward, there is where you'll be able to choose your built-in FaceTime camera or your iPhone. You may be asking, what's the best way to mount your iPhone to take any of these calls? I mean, you want it to that, that right angle, right? Well, there's a lot of different options. Basically, just any tripod will work. So if you want to put it on your desk, snap it into a tripod, good to go. Like a Joby Gorillapod, great. Something larger, like Peak Design Travel Tripod that's got a built-in iPhone mount there, swell. Uh, you can even use something like the 12 South Hover Bar. It works great, plop it into there uh, just backward, and you can use that to record yourself uh, during your FaceTime call. My favorite though is this guy from Belkin. This guy, super small, compact. It's a MagSafe mount that just clips right onto the top of your Mac's display. Uh, on the back, you'll see there's like a little metal uh, part where you can kind of use it to hold your iPhone or you can pull out the little ledge and it clips onto the top of your Mac's display. You just move it around that way. This is the easiest way and you can always bring it with you. Just slide it into your work bag. This one only works on laptops though. If you want to use this on something like your iMac, your studio display, any of those, you need a different clip, but Belkin is working on one and that's set to be released very soon. So if you are looking for a larger display option, don't worry, Belkin's got you covered, but honestly just any tripod will work. I put mine up there, it works perfectly. If we could take a break for just one moment so that I can thank my sponsor for this video, Clean My Mac X by MacPaw. The Mac is a crucial tool for your work your personal and your education life. And Clean My Mac X is an outstanding companion application to keep it running in tip top shape. It helps tune the Mac to run at maximum speed and prevents a Mac from cluttering, lagging, and slowing down. You can free up tons of space so your Mac never runs into an issue with storage. In total, Clean My Mac has nearly 50 built in tools to keep your Mac clean, fast, and protected all in a simple to use gorgeous interface. As a special thank you to the loyal Apple Insider audience, MacPaul is offering a 5% discount on the full license of Clean My Mac 10, but it's only valid for two weeks. So use the link down below in the description and unlock the entire Clean My Mac experience. Thank you again sincerely to MacPaul. It is with sponsors like you that videos like this are possible as well as my amazing audience. So thank you again to the sponsors and to everybody watching. With that said, let's get back to the topics. Once connected, you have a few different video effect options. You can just leave it as is as a standard high resolution 4K webcam, but you could also go and choose to enable portrait mode. With portrait mode, you'll be crystal clear, but your background's gonna have that nice blurred out bokeh. It looks really pretty and brings more focus to you instead of your background. It also helps if you've got a messy room. The other option is center stage. This is helpful for as you shuck and jive and move around on camera, whether you're walking, uh, it'll keep you in the frame. Basically, you can use that kind of ultra wide angle lens and then zoom in on you and follow you around as you move. Again, super helpful. 
Finally, there's studio lighting. Studio lighting will bring more light on you while dimming out your background. It's not quite the same as portrait mode, which gives you that blurred out background, but gives you more of a focus, more of a highlight. Basically, you've got key lights going on right on you to keep you sharp with your background just a little bit dimmer. Aside from those special effects, there's also desk view. So you can demo something, some smart home switch that you are currently reviewing, whatever it happens to be, you can demo it right there in front of you with that desk view. I think it's super cool. All these great new features in Ventura. Otherwise, you can use your iPhone as a microphone for your Mac. When you go into system settings and then sound, and then go over to input, you can choose your iPhone as a mic. So whether you're recording uh, audio, voice memos, even a podcast, but you need something that's a little bit further away, if you plug in a microphone into your iPhone, but you want to use this as kind of a remote mic to your Mac, it is possible here with macOS Ventura. So that's it. That is how you use your iPhone as a high quality camera with center stage, with portrait mode, with studio lighting, or as a microphone with your Mac as part of macOS Ventura in iOS 16. Let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna try it in your favorite video app of choice? Zoom, uh, Outlook, I don't know what other web webcam softwares there are, but let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. We've got a lot more videos coming your way.